What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are doing manager once again. This time for the Monaco Grand Prix. My favorite race of the whole season. And I always like doing this because Monaco, it's it's always a bit tricky with uh, with strategy. A two-stop is always faster, but with uh, how difficult it is to overtake, it doesn't always work. But I tell you, when it does pull off, a two-stop is incredible. I remember so famously we uh, we proved Badger wrong uh, last season with uh, doing the two-stop in Monaco, and we we absolutely cooked that day. Four days to the Monaco Grand Prix. Let's have a little update on the standings. We are fifth in the constructors. Drivers-wise, still both cars in the top 10, which I really can't complain about. This this season has been a little bit of a write-off, I'm not going to lie, with how underwhelming the winter gains were. In fact, they were kind of winter losses compared to everyone else on the grid. We kind of went backwards, and now we're recu recuperating our position in the standings. Uh, board attendance in the last Grand Prix. Oh, uh, speaking of the last Grand Prix, you probably have been wondering what happened to Imola. Well, let me tell you this. I was having some streaming issues when I was filming the last race, uh, which meant that we basically have no Imola on record. I'll tell you what happened. We got P5 in Imola. We had a very early VSC, I want to say. Uh, Lando boxed under that, and went to mediums for the rest of the race and we kind of like nursed tires to the end and we ended up in p5 phenomenal result for lando oscar not so good not so good i think he got p11 or something or something to that degree there was there was something against his uh his his luck that uh yeah just didn't didn't go so well so we had a good boost in the drivers and the constructors in the last race but now we move to monaco now Today, what's today? The 13th of May, 2024. We are investing in next year's car. The sandbags come off next year's car. Let us cook. Have we got any hours? No, we don't have any hours. Good. I reckon we put some basic development into chassis then. We take everything away from airflow middle. And engine cooling, yes, also increase that. Bosch, one engineer, chassis upgrade, the 2025 season has begun. So in terms of our upgrade path going forwards, uh, factory and design center are always our priority, I would say, for next season, uh, but also I've had some advice from Sasso, Badger Man. These four we will do at some point, but they're of lower priority. Um, so we'll get to a point where these are in pretty haggard condition, and then we'll probably upgrade them. But they still have their purpose. We'll make sure something down here gets upgraded before the end of the season. Let's actually have a look at the cost cap. It says we have 47 million remaining in the projected cost cap. So far, we've spent 77 million. Where have we spent that? Car development. Holy hell. Well, that's a little bit scary. It's not broken. We we have 47 mil left in the cost cap. Once you factor in all of our current expenses for the rest of the year. Yep, we're focusing on next year. No more upgrades for this current car. No, no more like design upgrades. That's it. I'm drawing the line. <laughs> Good. I mean, are we really surprised? Are we really surprised? Are they all snoozing? They're snoozing. They can't be exhausted. All right, race prep. Race prep. Race prep. Reach Q3. I think we can reach Q3 with one car. Quality position, two cars, top. 13. Easy. Easy game. But no. <laughs> anyway, it's time to go to the race weekend for the Monaco Grand Prix. Can we make some inroads on Mercedes? Get top four in the standings? Probably not. But let's go to the weekend. This is awkward. I don't want to chuck a new engine in for Monaco. 
I reckon we probably mud Piastri again. Ah, screw it. No, we'll uh, we'll give Piastri a chance. We'll give Piastri a chance. It's Monaco, and I guess thinking logically, we're going to be more competitive at the start of the season than the end. So we'll uh, we'll let him have a fighting chance this weekend. So we find ourselves in qualifying with untested setups, untested components, and untested resolve to get to the front of the grids. Let's do this. Let's see if we can get two cars into Q3. Let's do Inter's championship. Here we go first. Quality lap. Magnuson will get in the way of Norris, maybe. Gasly coming up to the line. P5. Norris, P4. Okay. Retire, retire, retire. I think we're done with Q1. I think that's good enough. Crikey, that was close. That was close. 1098. 1100, the cutoff. Two tenths. Or just over a tenth, really. Like I say, I feel like I'm always very good at judging the cutoff. We do it again. Uh, we're going to go out and this is again because we're going to build up this driver confidence. The more laps you do, the higher the confidence. Oh, hello. Use tire run again. Uh, Ocon gets in the way. Piastri might have the clearer lap this time. Piastri does have the more clear lap. Lando needs to go again. Uh, and we'll send him out on fresh tires. Fresh tires, please. Piastri, what's the time that he's done? Wow, 1094. Four tenths improvement over the last session. And that is very, very, very close to. Uh, being safe for Q3, but if I think about it, Alonso's going to improve, Hamilton will improve, Sainz will improve. Maybe even Albon as well. The Williams is decent this year. If I if I leave him out, it'll, it's, it's either like P10 or P11. I'll have him ready with a new set just in case. I'm sending him out. It's Monaco. Come on. Clear laps for both cars, please. Alonso gets in the way of Norris, and he goes up to P10. But Piastri, I think, might knock him out. No. Well. Didn't improve on the second lap for Piastri. I think that was traffic related. Norris gets P10. Man, oh man, that was close. Thank you, Harrison. <laughs> Very good. Piastri out. Yikes. Should have chucked in the old engine. Welcome to the final part of qualifying. Again, confidence reasons. Inter's lap. So I'll try and do three runs here if I can. A lap on inters, a lap on U softs, and then one on new. We cutting it fine though. Seven minutes to go. Anything from here is a bonus. So we were lucky to get in Q3. We're here. Let's now do a lap at the end. Well, hopefully no one gets in our way. grow and fuel and we push here we go here's Lando's lap tires do look cold not happy about that we are green Oh, 
Imagine if we get purple. Purple middle. Not good enough. 1.6 seconds off the leader. That was our previous best though. Can we get in the eights? Nope. Line five. Oscar's lap in Q2 was better than that. But we we are qualify. A Mercedes. We aren't qualifying Mercedes. P9 for the Monaco Grand Prix. Can't complain. Uh, the Macca is not covered in stone chips, thankfully. Because I don't drive like Alex Gillen. Bosh. Well, there's nothing quite like it. Any grid panels? I didn't really... Pay attention any, if anyone had grid penalties. Uh, we are starting 9th and 11th, so no changes there. Time for the race strategy. We big brained this last time. And the way that we did this is we, we sent one car out to be on a one stop. While the other did a two stop. And the person on the one stop held back the cars behind for the other. Could that be Lando? He is better on his tyres. He does have better track position. I'm not going to intentionally slow people down, I don't think. And he only has one set of mediums anyway. So I think this strat works for Lando. Let's go medium, hard. Aggro does not work. Has to be standard push. I don't like that. I really don't like that. So with Oscar, he's out of the points. It makes sense to do the riskier strategy with him. Has to be soft, medium, medium. Wow. I mean, we'll do a few laps at standard push, maybe even... I might even conserve just to extend by a couple of laps. Because a lot of people are going to be uh, starting on the on the mediums anyway, going to hards. Oh my god, they're going to be boxing bang, out, bang on halfway through the race. So we're going to get a massive undercut if we stop here. We have all this area to undercut. So yeah, I think we'll save tires for a little bit, then push on these. Then push on these. Looks good to me. One stop versus two. May the best man win. Here we go. We're here and the streets are abuzz at the Monaco Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. I'm praying we have good pit stops today. We're going to need them. Away we go. Gas route to P10. That's absolutely huge. Keep attacking, please. Tyres. Keep pressure on. You can do this. Oh, he's back down to P11. Come on. Force the issue. On the Merc. You can do it, buddy. High aggro. Rarely defend. Let's go for it. Perfect. Morris is up to P8 as well. Great start. Come on. These lap one, lap two battles at Monaco are going to be huge. Uh, I'm going to take it. Very difficult. Yeah, it's Monaco, mate. And ahead of Russell. Good stuff. We will get Piastri to push now. Maybe even don't fight teammate. Okay, the move is orchestrated. And that was really nicely done. The goal from here is to get a double top 10 with both cars. Hopefully better than... Oh my god. Okay. Well, that works. Red flag. Oh! Mick Schumacher. I don't know what to say. I'm very sorry about that. I tell you what, this is not good for Lando. This is not good for Lando. That's a red flag on his only set of mediums. From here, oh god, what do we do? We could do the same plan still. Soft, medium, medium. But we can go more aggro on the strap to the end. Uh, I think a lot of AI are going to go hards here. This is where the race really gets decided. This is this is really interesting timing for the for the red flag. I mean, look at all these softs. We may as well use them. 
We'll figure out the strategy later for Lando. We need to see how the race plays out, really. Here we go once more. The track is ready, and so are the drivers. The top three are kind of screwed. And it's lights out, and away we go. Okay, push, push, push. We drop the lift to coast for now. We'll pick it up later. Gas out to P8. This is spicy. This is spicy. Hunting time. Hunting time indeed. Hi, Agro, please. Another couple of spots gained off the start would be huge. I see Hamilton's gone for hards. Try your best. Go for Come on, Piastri. Get this Alpine. Not many people on softs around us. Only the race leader. That is PA for Piastri. Red flag has helped. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can overtake a Monaco. Try and increase the car calling a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. Good stuff. Good stuff. Double overtake. Morris moves up, Piastri moves up. Go to strategies. Once again in Monaco. Here we go. So we have lower battery at the moment. Yes. Oh, easy. Easy overtake. P7, P8. Unbelievable scenes. Okay, let's give Piastri a strategy. Something like that. Looks good to me. This is just a rough strategy that we're just kind of spitballing ideas here. Something like that. Norris is a bit more limited because of the tires we have available. Maybe we get them to swap. Lando's the better prospect now. We swapped earlier for Piastri. Makes it fair. There we go. Didn't even need to do the team order. We did it with pace. Building a nice gap. This is where we're going to pit into, I think, when we make our stop. Oh my. Okay, VSC. Piastri can definitely make it work from here. Who do we box first? Who do we box first? I think I think we kind of need to box both of them, to be honest. We're going to box Norris first. He's going to hearts. He's the car ahead. Oh, it's a red flag. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, we're not allowed. We're not allowed pit stops today. And both Haas is in the bin. <laughs> Here I was, like, stressing about pit strategy, and uh, it's it's taken out of our hands anyway. That makes the decision for me, exactly. Well, it's, it's, uh, it is good that we have an abundance of tyres, isn't it? Double medium to the end for Piastri, that is an easy decision. I reckon we go hards for Lander now. But then he's in the, he's, he's in the way of Piastri! We just made the swap! Ay, ay, ay. How many team swaps are we going to do today? The hards may not make it to the end, I'm thinking now, actually. Soft hards? Yeah, I reckon... Let's try soft again. And let's pray we can get a full stint out of them, eh? Let's go soft hards. After a pause in this race, we are all set and ready At least that pit crew is not getting worn out. We're not losing positions. We'll just red flag our way home to the end. Actually, let's pause. Because we're in cruise mode. Not good. Not good. Boy. Just close up. Every, uh, a few people on hards here. Norris up to P6. Ginormous. Absolutely ginormous. Yep. 
Come on, die for the gap. Go for it, son. Now is the time to go ham. I'm so glad we put resources into doing well this race now. We are cooking. Oh no! I clicked the no changes button! Like, I saw the projected strategy of double medium to the end. But I thought, okay, yeah, no no changes, as in double medium. And it's left the same tires we had on. Oh my words. Oh no, we need another red flag. We need a red flag. Guys, we're in the muds. Oh, we've thrown away... Points of Piastri. We could maybe park the bus in this position, maybe, for a little bit. I don't know how long though. This race now got interesting. <laughs> uh, don't let him, don't let him through, mate. Do not let him through. Come on. Use the overtake. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Track position is crucial right now, mate. Yeah, we just need to make sure that uh, we don't fall off a cliff on that tyre. P9 at best right now. For Piastri. P9 at best. Hello. Battling. I'm going to try and go for it with Lando. We've got the DRS. But Alonso's got DRS as well. This might be wasted. One more straight. One more straight. One more straight. Okay. That's fine. We'll chill out, we'll chill out, we'll chill out. Here we go. Oh Jesus, he was still driving in clear air. Yes. Yes. Yes! P5. That is massive. Forget about anything better than P9. What we have now is what we're getting. Oh, this is perfect. Always defend his OP. I mean, yeah, red flag would be perfect. Honestly, perfect right now. Oh, we finally get overtaken. And we can drop the lift to coast for now. We'll pick it up later. Okay, panic stations. We need to box. It's time to box. Let's go for it. New mediums. New mediums. Unless, unless you want to throw a red flag now, please. Ooh, box, box. Copy, box. We only drop a second to Russell. But now we are in the box. And I think this is the first pit stop of the whole Grand Prix. No one has been in the pit lane yet. Let's hope it's a good one. Oh my god. You can't write this stuff, chat. Our pit stop is done. Oh, and we're lapped. We're lapped. But we can giga brain this. If we stay with Verstappen, we can giga brain this. Come on. Don't let the other guy through. Don't let the Ferrari through. Push on. Run your own race, mate. You got fresh tires. Run your own race, please. Run your own flipping race. Please, please. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg you run your own race. You can pull away. I know you can. 
I think we're out of blue flags. I think we're out of blue flags. Let me cook. Let Piastri cook. Okay. We're clear. That was, that was on the limit. On the limit of having to let that guy go through. Post efficiency. Ah, uh, boxing now is perfect. Boxing now is perfect. We're, we're about to dip below 30%. Confirm and box. Hopefully Perez stays out and does. Come on. Okay, this is huge. This is huge. All the leaders on softs. Please, good stop. Please, good stop. Yes. We've survived, Monaco. What's the right thing? We have survived Monaco with an exhausted pit crew. 1.9 seconds and 2.0. That is huge. Fresh air. Let's go get him. Oh, Ricardo is for position. Damn, we should have stayed closer to Norris. Perez boxes, by the way. Perez boxes. So, we boxed at the perfect time. Perfect time for the undercut. Let's go. Here comes Perez. There's Norris. Yes! That's why they pay me the big bucks. Ah, oh, no! Perez! Sneaky bugger. Got me while I wasn't looking. Can we get him back? Perez? Oh, yes. The Stappen boxes that frees up Piastri. That's a slow stop. That was slow. Leclerc boxes. Oh, we do get Leclerc, though. Huge. Here we are, then, looking at turn 12. It's certainly inviting. Too friendly. That was too kind. Far too kind. Hey, I put you in a brilliant position and you're squandering it. Next lap, we attack. Stroll. Just need to get to the finish now. Which should be fine. Verstappen wins. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. Not much to worry about in the end. I thought there was going to be a big battle between Verstappen and Alonso. I'll tell you what, chat, we have sweated this one. Piastri recovers to get back inside the top 10 after having bad tyres up after the final red flag. P10. Norris, it's looking like P6. So that's uh, P10. There when it mattered indeed. Big points for the team. Both drivers did so good. Pit stops were immaculate. Couldn't have asked for much more than that, to be honest. We had to manage the shit out of that race. For the most part, we did. <laughs> one one tiny error on Piastri starting tyres after the final red flag. Apart from that, we nailed it. Now, wasn't it an excellent showing from Oscar Piastri? That really was such a strong performance. And they come away from today with a top 10 finish. Amazing. Really, really good for the team. Huge points today. Nine points in the bank. On what is otherwise a uh, pretty mudded season, it's uh, supposed to be. Drivers land out to P7. He's ahead of both the Mercs. Outrageous behavior. Constructors, I tell you what, the fight with Merc could be on for the first half of the season, and then they're going to romp past us after we uh, stop developments. But look, I think. From here, realistic expectations, real talk. P5 is what we uh, are probably going to be penciled in for. 
and constructors based on our uh, strategy of, of focusing on next season. Yeah. P4. I Look, I would love to beat Mercedes and get P4, but I have to be realistic. They're, they're going to outdevelop us. You would have to say. Um, it was a few pit stops. Not many. Uh, a 4.1 second stop for Ferrari. <laughs> Sees them get a point. Unbelievable. And it's not even close. Our pit stops were clear today. I've got to say, MVP was the pit crew. Even though they were exhausted, they pulled off the best stops. No mistakes. Absolute Ws. And nearly double the points clear of the rest of the, uh, the field. I tell you what, chat. I think they've earned a well... Deserved break after that performance. Absolutely legendary. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Eh. Eh, let's minimize that, I suppose. 3.9 mil added to the tally after this race. So that gives us a little bit of spending money. Rear ring complete. Thank you very much. That gives us 7.3 mil. For upgrades, for, for facility stuff in the not too distant future. There we go. Spanish Grand Prix is in four days. Another back to back race for our F1 manager team. Let's see if we can keep delivering. I mean, races like this, where they're so like compacted while we're getting upgrades and stuff, is good for us in the championship. But uh, second half of the season is going to be a struggle, let me tell you. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for me today. Until the next one, the Spanish Grand Prix. I'll see you next time.